have one of the most fabulous perfume hauls I have ever done on my channel. It includes Tom Ford's latest two cherry fragrances, Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke, and a brand new release from another divine release from M. Mikulov, the house of M. Mikulov. Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel. Don't forget to take a minute to smash that subscribe button right there and ring the notification bell right next to it. That way it means something because if you don't hit the notification bell, it's as if you never subscribed. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I give you all this content in just a few seconds. I have for you one of the most fabulous fragrance hauls I have done in a while. I mean, I always have fabulous fragrance hauls, but boy, this one is one of the best ones, I gotta say. And I actually have an update on the new Tom Ford Cherry Fragrances, Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke. You know I did a full comprehensive review. If you missed it, catch it. I will link it up here and down in the description box. Make sure to watch that video. That was the most comprehensive, full, thorough, informative video you would ever probably see about these two new releases. I even had my husband sniff them and give you his opinion, which you, I know, always appreciate a man's perspective, especially my husband who's got pretty good taste. Now, I told you in that video I will give you an update on their performance because I had just bought them and I needed uh, several days to test them out. So why not start with the, the two of them? I haven't had a chance to haul them on my channel, so you know I got both of them. I got, well actually you know I bought the Cherry Smoke in my review of both of these. This was actually a sample that I had gotten. I had purchased the full size of this one, Cherry Smoke, but I wanted to test this out first before I bought it, so I had gotten a sample from Nordstrom, but I reviewed both of them in that video and I did a full comprehensive comparison to the original. I went ahead and purchased a full bottle of the Electric Cherry because you guys, you guys, you guys, I know I told you in my review of these two that Electric Cherry was good, very good, and my husband, that was my husband's favorite, he saw his reaction, boy does he love this fragrance. He loves this fragrance, okay? He loves it on me very, very much. Let me, I guess, start with this one because since my review of the full review of the two of these and then the comparison to Lost Cherry, I have fallen head over heels in love with Electric Cherry because, oh my goodness, I needed to wear it several, several days to really, really fall in love with it even more. My goodness, my husband knew right away. You know, at first I was more leaning towards the cherry smoke, but my goodness, you guys, this one, there's something about the, this one, okay? There's something special about this one. You guys know this one is the lightest in terms of the composition. As the bottle suggests, this one is obviously lighter than this one, that's Lost Cherry. And of course, lighter than its other sister, this one, Cherry Smoke. You can tell by the bottle colors what the idea is here, right? Now this one is the more effervescent, sparkling, sort of playful version of the three. This one is a fruity floral one. The cherries in here are the sour, like slightly sour Morello cherries. So it's not like your sweet, toothachingly sweet sort of cherry fragrance, but there is a slight sweetness to it with that slight tartness. Oh, by the way, also this has obviously jasmine, which I think all three of them have. And of course that heavy dose of musk in here makes it very edgy but adds to that effervescent sort of light quality of this fragrance really plays well with the floral notes in here floral musk really go well together now 
The thing that I didn't mention in my first review of this, in that full review of, that I did, is that there is something, let me smell it. There is something so stylish, fashionable kind of scent about this. This smells like a very, you know, like fun loving, stylish, you know, girl who knows, you know, what, what to wear, you know, how to carry herself. There's something very, very stylish and gorgeous about this fragrance, you guys. I must spray, spray this. I have come to just love this fragrance. Um, oh my goodness, there's something very stylish, I think is the word. I'm trying to come up with the word. It's very stylish, very feminine, very fashionable about this fragrance. There's something really beautiful about this fragrance. I see what my husband saw in this fragrance. I always trust his opinion, his taste, actually. You know, at first, although I was leaning more towards this, I really, when I started wearing the two of them, you know, I thought this was going to be the special one, Cherry Smoke, which it is, it is special too, I'll tell you in its own right. I'll tell you later about it. But there's something very, very special about this fragrance. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant. I apologize ahead of time, but I must, must share this with you. Be aware of people reviewing fragrances who have no idea what they're doing, okay? I'm not going to tell you if I heard this or saw this on Fragrantica reviews or on YouTube. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to... You know target anybody I don't want to be like you know I, I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna be very general here but I'm telling you there are people talking about fragrances whether it's on Fragrantica or on YouTube wherever it is okay on Sephora I don't care that just really don't understand fragrances I let's say saw or heard somebody saying that this is medicinal Oh my gosh, you guys, that is like the last thing that this fragrance is. And I don't even know where these people are getting this idea from. Now, remember, perfumes are very subjective and I am keeping that in mind. It's the, the worst description of this fragrance whatsoever. Actually, it's playful, it's effervescent, but in a very up-class way. It's a very fashionable high-end smelling fragrance. This fragrance right here is absolutely fantastic, stunning. I, you know, didn't expect much from this one because this was the more lighter, fruity, floral one, and I'm not usually into the fruity floral thing, but this is not your average fruity floral. Now, many of you asked me, is there any designer fragrance, any other low-end designer fragrance, like a little bit more affordable that smells anything similar to this? Well, you guys, I, I got an answer for you. Here's the thing. Now, I'm gonna give you, you know, Carolina Herrera, very good girl, glam as the one that even lands slightly in the ballpark of this fragrance but you guys there is no comparison there is no comparison yeah you know this is like the same type of you know fruity floral cherry fragrance and the cherry in here is so light that it almost smells like cherry blossom sure in that sense these sort of have some kind of similarity but you guys the finish the the effect of this the fragrance is completely different you are paying for your quality here you definitely are let me now spray this just to put you you know um at peace about this now yeah see no 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 i mean i i'm only telling you about this because you are asking me because this one ouch is very expensive tom ford prices went up again and i get it i know ouch you know but you guys there's just no there's no comparison guys okay there's still no, yeah this is different i couldn't i could not tell you that this is that close of a any a fragrance but this is the only thing i could think of 
that even fell in the ballpark of this fragrance. Oh, another one that I wanted to compare the Electric Cherry to was the Prada Candy Gloss. So this one, you guys, I'm gonna spray this one on the back of my hand here. Um, this one, yeah, again, it's got similar vibe, but it's definitely not Electric Cherry. I couldn't tell you this is a dupe. I could not recommend it as a dupe. But if you really can't afford, you know, Electric Cherry, which is outrageously expensive, and I completely understand it, then I would say out of the Very Good Girl Glam and Prada Candy, I think Prada Candy is a little bit more in the in the ballpark because it's a lot more playful and fruity and you know kind of has that playful vibe so that's the verdict there but electric cherry has something so special about it very special and here's something else for you i've been wearing these three fragrances lost cherries cherry smoke and electric cherry for the past few days to my surprise electric cherry is the one my husband can smell the most this one pro projects, he literally, I was wearing this yesterday and he literally said, I can smell your perfume over here. That's electric cherry, right? He loves it. This is his favorite. That is the one that projects the most because he smelled me wearing this too and lost cherry and everything. He said, this is the one he can smell the most from a distance. So I have to say that this is the one that has the best projection out of the three. Although this one seemed more intense with the color and the smokiness and everything else, this is the one that has a bigger scent bubble. Now, lasting power. I would say that both Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke are better in lasting power than Lost Cherry. Let me get that out of the way. Lost Cherry ha doesn't last, as you guys know, that's the only problem with this gorgeous scent. This one doesn't last more than like two hours on my skin, and then I have to respray, but on clothes it lasts longer. The scent bubble is rather small. It's not like a huge scent bubble. If somebody's close enough to you, then yeah, they can smell you. Yes, it's a compliment getter when people can smell it, but these two, we were hoping that they fixed that performance issue, and I think they did. Now, here's the thing. Still, both of these aren't what I would call beast mode. Beast mode implies offensive, so I don't like to use it. These aren't fragrances that last forever. These aren't fragrances that project miles, even though this one has pretty good projection. But they are better than Lost Cherry, okay, in terms of performance. Now, I feel like Electric Cherry actually lasts just as long as Cherry Smoke. They both last quite nicely, but they become sort of skin scents at the, I would say the five hour mark, which is average, which is totally fine. You know, expecting a fragrance to last more than five hours on your skin is, it is too much to ask, okay? It's a, it's a pretty big demand. And there are very few perfumes that do that, okay? So it's a pretty, pretty good, good deal. They, they last average, above average, they're good. This one I don't think has as big of a scent bubble, the cherry smoke, as electric cherry. Electric cherry, my husband can smell from much further away. And he, of course, also attracted to this smell, so he notices it more too. But cherry smoke is not as, you know, projecting as this one. So this one is very effervescent, playful, stylish, very, very kind of fashionable smelling. Smells like a, a woman who wears design, you know, outfit and knows how to put herself together and very fun and playful and likes to live it up that's kind of what electric cherry smells like now for cherry smoke this one is the slightly smokier little, little bit deeper sweeter lightly tiny bit spicy and smokier version of the of the three this one you guys right off the bat so i'm going to spray it back here because i spray, sprayed that other one there so this one you guys right off the bat i smell that beautiful salon cinnamon i know it's not a revealed note but it's there guys it's there this has a be beautiful sweet oh very sweet salon cinnamon 
And if anything has a medicinal kind of vibe, it's this one, Cherry Smoke, right in the opening, which is why I was rolling my eyes because when somebody said that Electric Cherry has a medicinal vibe, okay. No, Cherry Smoke has a tiny bit of a tiny bit of a tiny medicinal vibe, but it's not there, it's not even noticeable. I don't even, even say it. This what rather what this has is is that beautiful salon cinnamon like the spiciness the warm spiciness right in the opening oh I'm very sure there's salon cinnamon in here oh and then there's that cherry it's a sweeter cherry um, I believe it's not Morello cherry in this one this is a deeper cherry note and yes you can smell the cherry note this has a slight vibe of kind of slight oody vibe or very close to oud type of woody notes in here very woody this has got that jasmine but that one is overpowered by the slight smokiness the, the spiciness the slight woody vibe the woody vibe okay so yeah this one is deeper sweeter slightly smoky spicy version with loads of woody nuance they are all gorgeous do you need all three of them yes yes you do I'm sorry to say that, but I need all three of them. Let, let me put it this way. I needed all three of them, and yes, I am going to have all three of them because they're absolutely stunning. You don't need all three of them. I mean, you don't need perfume, period, you guys. You need food. You need water. You don't need perfumes. But do you want it needed? Yes. Do you, do you want needed? Is that, is, that's not even a saying, okay? I'm going to say it that way. Do you feel like you need it because you want it so much? Sure. Out of the three, what's my favorite now? It's Electric Cherry. I've changed my mind. I was leaning more towards Cherry Smoke at first, but no, I think it's, I gotta give it to Electric Cherry because it's more unique than these other two. Yes, I love my Lost Cherry still, but this one is more of an almond, cherry almond thing going on in here. You guys know there's a little bit of booziness in here. So this is more of a boozy almond, the cherry, the lost cherry, the original. I did a full comparison in my original review. Check it out. Okay, you guys, now for something so exciting. I couldn't wait to share this with you guys because, oh my God, it's beautiful. I just, I cannot contain my excitement because I have the latest beauty from Emikolaf, the house of Emikolaf. Ooh, they kindly sent this to me. You guys, they released a nectar version of Note Veni. Oh my gosh, I can't contain my excitement because you guys, this one is just, whew. That's all I have to say. The nectar version is more of a concentrated version of the originals, like the Eau de Parfum. This one is more like an entrance, you know, or even excrete, but I think it's more of an entrance. So let me show you, oh my gosh, it's the same beautiful bottle design with little crystals in, in, in here. I love this beautiful, like elegant, simple, yet gorgeous design of this bottle. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is absolutely stunning. So I have too many cherry fragrances on me, so I'm gonna like spray it right here. I sprayed this and I wore it the whole day. Oh my like so actually a couple of days this one is even better than the no Tiffany you guys oh my god wow 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 mm. it is definitely a concentrated more like stronger potent version of Note Veni and that delicious um the boozy kind of um, creaminess that this one has Note Veni is actually much more intense in here there's something very like very creamy and intense that vanilla in here is very like creamy, this one, and there's, that booziness is like kind of also intense a little bit. 
it just the floral notes are just also intense mixed with that vanilla oh so good you guys you guys this also has that gorgeous like beautiful really intense vanilla only it's much more intense with the amber in here very beautiful the booziness from the cognac and the rum so so there very much more intensified my mouth is watering by the way it smells delicious okay it smells delicious and oh my gosh oh my gosh and that creaminess that that smooth velvety creaminess this fragrance like the original has only so much more intense in this one the sandalwood on the dry down is very creamy and smooth adding to that whole vibe Ooh, i think there's a bit of musk in here too it's just absolutely gorgeous you yes you do need the nectar okay if you have no divinity you need the nectar i know you're gonna ask me this question so i'm getting it out of the way I know you know I'm partial though to North Tiffany. I absolutely love this and I just did a video on the only five niche fragrances you ever need as a woman. This was in it because you need it. And now I'm gonna have to say you need this one too. If you have this one, you need this one. Which one do I recommend if you only want one? This one, this one. Because it's this one, only so much more, like more intense. Okay? Absolutely ugh, stunning beautiful beautiful fragrance i have da a discount code my regular discount code with a mikalap down in the description box if you want some cash off of it next i have a super exciting one to share with you guys this is so beautiful and perfect for the springtime coming up here soon well it's not there yet but we're getting close we're getting close to spring i can't wait you guys you saw me buying this in my holiday vlog if you haven't watched it yet i'll link it up here and down in the description box we did a lot of really fun stuff there did some perfume shopping we went to the white house and everything else if you guys want to check that out so i bought this in it with the video this is another gorgeous beauty from the house of killian you know how i feel about the house of killian it's one of my top two fragrance houses i love emikolov and killian so so much they seem to make the most amount of or most number of perfumes that i love okay so and i have a lot of other niche fragrances and designer fragrances that i love but you guys this one is killian a kiss from a rose every time i look at this name it makes me think of that song by seal it plays in my head you guys you know the song YouTube won't let me put a little clip of it here, you, but you all know what it, it is. And here is, of course, the Killian packaging, which I've always loved that simplistic, sort of uh, classy, just simple packaging of Killian. And now I love the red color of the bottle. This is the same bottle as the, the Killian Rose Oud, the red ones. I have the Rolling in Love, Rose Oud, and A Kiss from a Rose in the red bottles. Um, other ones in black and white and blue this is definitely a summer spring kind of fragrance now i'm going to sp spray this sort of close to my my hair over here on my collar i think because i ran out of space so beautiful you guys I'm trying to control myself here. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's very unique, just like Killian fragrances tend to be. You know, even when they make like these beautiful fragrance houses, the ones that are brilliant, that make really good fragrances, even when they make like a, a fresh or this is not exactly a fresh but even when they make like a musky floral or floral fruity or anything, those categories, types that that a lot of designer houses make like churn out a lot of fragrances in that category even when they do that they make it somehow so special and so unique and so niche okay so niche and that's what happened here this one is absolutely beautiful beautiful very feminine leaning fragrance i would say very very much this is definitely not a unisex type of scent this is 
gonna smell better on a woman and it's just definitely invokes kind of feminine kind of vibe this has the most beautiful rose de mine note in here that's mixed with a big blast of musk yeah it sounds simple like a lot of fragrances would have but there is something very unique about this fragrance there are some green notes in here that are slight green vibes that are just adding this just nice edge to this fragrance it's kind of indescribable it definitely adds to that sort of spring vibes of this fragrance um, definitely a spring summer fragrance in particular for spring absolutely stunning okay it's very 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 feminine and beautiful musky edgy fragrance really really love this one I am so glad I purchased it okay um, you guys I finally bit the bullet and bought bond number nine Aster Place right here. I've been wanting this fragrance just for the bottle for a while, uh, for a long time, but I finally bit the bullet and bought it. This one is a very kind of spring, summer kind of fragrance. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's absolutely stunning. I like that color block kind of design on it. It's really cool. I still have space here on this arm. I really don't like spraying fragrances on blotter cards because you really can't get an idea of what it smells like, which sometimes I chuckle when people spray things on paper and seem to know all about the fragrance. But anyway, let me spray it on here and tell you Oh, this one is, I've worn this just one day, just received it. This is absolutely beautiful, pleasant, fresh, slightly aquatic, floral, beautiful, very feminine leaning, very feminine leaning fragrance. Definitely, I would say this is not a unisex fragrance. This is definitely very much female, very, very 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 feminine fragrance absolutely no doubt about it it's very beautiful easy to wear gorgeous floral fragrance for the most part there are some beautiful beautiful florals in here that are sm that smell so delicate and just so pretty this is definitely very floral kind of aquatic kind of musky kind of ozonic almost very spring summer fragrance this would go over really well in the spring and even in the hot weather this would be one of the fragrances that performs so so well in hot weather now it's not the time to wear this fragrance this is definitely spring summer fragrance but it's absolutely beautiful you know what i love about this fragrance there's one floral in here that i really really love it's in that um scarlet poppy is it joe malone i forget the name of that fragrance it's in that obviously there's poppy in here poppy is such a beautiful delicate scent i believe it's a fantasy note you guys but if you imagine what a poppy would smell like this is how it would smell there's a little bit of a slight pretty green vibe from that violet leaf that's in here there's some freesia which is another beautiful, very air, airy, light, green leaning, beautiful, kind of orange blossom type fragrance. Do you know what I mean? I mean, fragrance, floral. Yeah, it's very, very, very beautiful. There's something very fresh and clean about it, but yet very feminine and alluring about this fragrance. Easy to wear fragrance, definitely. This has got a beautiful powderiness from the Aris Road. Um, and there's like woodiness to this. I believe there there's some amber here, the loads of musk which add to that light airy kind of quality. I told you even in Electric Cherry, when there's like fruity floral fragrances, um, when you add musk, it's really like lifts it up even more and makes it sexy, edgy. So yeah, yeah, really like it, man. It smells really, really good. This would be great. I mean, this would smell so clean and fresh if you're like trapped on an airplane. Last but not least, I have right here, I got another House of Siage fragrance. This is also from the Sweet Atelier collection. This is the Cream Chiffon fragrance right here. It has the cutest box. I love this collection, the box, and actually, 
This time the cupcakes are actual cupcakes. I love this beautiful collection. Like just the packaging alone is stunning. You know that I'm head over heels in love with the sweet dreams of the Sweet Atelier collection. I have that one that's like the peach nectar one with the Davana that's kind of, you know, kind of sexy in a way. So this one is the more vanilla leaning creamy one. I love that little cute, cute ice ice cream sign, ice cream cones on the on the cupcake you guys it's very cute so let me smell this I am absolutely out of places to spray fragrances so I'm gonna spray this on my other color I think yeah you guys this one is beautifully creamy very creamy fragrance um there's something slightly lactonic about it very vanilla very very much a vanilla fragrance creamy vanillic no wonder I could smell creaminess here because this has got a beautiful whipped cream note along with that vanilla that makes it really, really creamy, especially in the dry down. This has a sweetness blast, the sweetness in the opening with that sugar, the brown sugar mixed with that citrus notes like mandarin, which is like a syrupy citrus in the opening and the other citrus that smells really really good the sugar note very like beautiful it's got a little bit of like heliotrope which has that sort of you know like slightly powdery quality but also like a little cola vibe that people say you know that's how people like to describe it i kind of see that um there's like a uh, benzoin that adds to the vanilla in here i think olibanum too it has a blast of musk too which adds to adds a nice edge to it but yeah, this one, however, you know, I'm yet to test the longevity. It does seem like it might become closer to the skin after a couple of hours. But I, then again, I can't really tell you until I really give it a wear test and see how it performs. I just got this fragrance. But yeah, it has a very kind of a creamy vanilla lactonic gourmet vibe about this fragrance. So that sweet atelier cream chiffon very light beautiful sort of creamy vanilla fragrance with the with some citrus in it and some florals absolutely beautiful scent i love the scent i just need to know if this is going to last or project like the other one is you know because other one doesn't be smart project but you know the one i'm talking about the other sweet atelier one that i have sweet dreams that one people can smell in close spaces like you know, not, not like across the room, but I have gotten compliments on it. It's a compliment getter. And yes, it smells absolutely stunning. And this one's different from it. I'm yet to see if this is a compliment getter. People can smell it. Is it really cl that close to the skin after a couple of hours? So you guys, I have a bunch of other fragrances here, but I think we're out of time. I'm trying to keep my videos 30 minutes or less. Um, I have like 10 or 15 more fragrances here which i will talk about in upcoming videos in upcoming hauls or other videos so i hope you enjoyed this beautiful haul with some beautiful new fragrances that i tried let me know down in the comment section what you think about these fragrances that i just hauled today in this video do you have them? Are you gonna get some of them? Share your thoughts about the three Tom Ford Cherry fragrances. Let me know what you think about the new Note Veni uh, Nectar. I really love to hear from you guys. And it really helps me kind of get to know what you want, what you're thinking. It helps me kind of customize my content to your liking. So I hope you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up first. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, which helps me grow my community and help me get to a 10,000 subscribers, you guys. It depends on you. I really, really will be very appreciative if I can get to 10,000 by the end of this month. That's the goal. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video.